was a wild homecoming Saturday in Williamsburg. The College of William and Mary taking on perennial CAA contender Villanova. Brian Parsons says it was just a good old fashioned football game. And coincidentally enough, he joins us in the Sports Wrap studio to tell us all about it. Hey, Brian. Hey, Nathan. It was an awesome football game and it had a little bit of everything. The Tribe ranked as high as 15th in the FCS National Poll, hoping for a rebound game today after losing last week to a top five New Hampshire team. Today's opponent, just as difficult, Villanova ranked as high as fourth in the country. Big homecoming crowd at Zabel Stadium and they witnessed a shootout. Second quarter, Tribe down 14 to 7. Jimmy Laycock digs into his bag of tricks. It's the flea flicker, Steve Cluley. Launches it to Trey McBride for the 56-yard touchdown. McBride, 11 catches, 209 yards, and two scores were tied at 14. Closing moments of the first half, and William & Mary caps off a long drive with a two-yard touchdown by Kendall Anderson. Tribe up 21-14 at the break. Third quarter, Villanova trailing 24-21, but the Wildcats reclaimed the lead on the run by John Robertson. William & Mary going to answer right back, Cluley. Rolls out of the pocket, fires it the other way to freshman tight end Andrew Kaskin, who hangs on to it. William and Mary up 31 to 28. Steve Cluley, 350 yards passing, three touchdowns, and no interceptions. One minute to go in the game. Villanova trying for the rally. Third down and long for the Wildcats. John Robertson to Clay Horn for the first down inside the red zone, and then 52 seconds left in the game. Robertson hits Kevin Gullius. And that is your game-winning touchdown. William & Mary falls to Villanova 35-31 in a wild shootout in Williamsburg. You know, it's disappointing, but I think, you know, our guys really grew up a lot tonight and saw a lot, learned a lot about themselves and learned how, how we can play uh, at times, you know, play pretty well at times, really. And, um, you know, so, but I'm disappointed for the players. You know, we thought we had a, had a shot and the way we were playing, you know, we hurt ourselves early with some, First half with a couple turnovers and things here and there. It wasn't a clean game by any stretch of imagination, but we sure we made a lot of plays. So, but anyway, not enough. Not enough. Now in the post-game handshake, Coach Jimmy Laycock exchanging words with Villanova coach Andy Talley. Laycock upset with one of Talley's players for some questionable hits. Laycock refused comment when asked about what went on there. William and Mary is back home next weekend against the Delaware Blue Hens. Nathan, back to you.